we have the test stand. So this is our test stand. Our test stand is um, capable of production testing and engineering testing. So it allows us to test new designs. So changes we make so we can test something that we've redesigned like that, that uh, silencer. We can do testing on it here if we choose to and do it on a running a engine. The actual package itself is a standardized package. Um, there are some differences to it, which I'll go through. Um, one of them is that this package can run both a PC and a PD engine. So we have two complete fuel systems and two control systems, which allow us to, monitor, to run both the DLE and the SAC. Um, it also has a gas mixing and gas delivery station, so we can actually mix gases and, uh, and, and or run on hydrogen, which is our next plan, is to do some hydrogen testing. The other difference that you'll see versus our, our uh, installed sites is we use a lot of cable trays versus underground cables. It's a test stand. I want to be able to change my cables. It's hard to change them when they're buried. <laughs> um, and then we have a limited gas pressure, so we do have a gas compressor. And yes, the, the gray trailer or, or box out in front of it is a diesel generator. We don't use that to fake our power. We use that to run the gas compressor because the local grid isn't strong enough to drive our gas compressor. So we have to provide our own power to the gas compressor. OK? You can see right here where the pylons are. That's the gas delivery station. So those are truck stations so that we can back gas trucks, whether it's a hydrogen truck or different mixed gases up. And they go through that pipeline and back in to the, to the main gas feed. The main gas, the main natural gas line is the yellow line. And uh, the two uh, white towers are obviously demon. We have small demon towers, but we're a test stand. We don't, we don't run continuously, so uh, we don't need a large demon storage. So this is where the package all comes together. You can kind of see those triangular ducts that we saw, right? They're on the top there. That's where the air cut comes in from the bypass. The, the plenum for that is the box right behind it towards the stack. The three main inlet boxes are right up there on top with the ladders going in and the rain hoods. Below that is the roof skid. On this side is the generator package and on the back side is the turbine package. You can also see that yellow frame along the bottom. That's because this is a full string test facility. So if you want your gas turbine generator package tested, we'll, we'll pull this out and put yours in and test it for you if you want. I, I don't generally recommend that, but it, it's available if someone wants it. So this is our standardized fogging skid behind it. You'll see the WISPA skid, right? Just like you saw on the shop floor. Then the auxiliary skid, again, very similar to the shop floor. Behind that is the mixing skid, so that's unusual. You wouldn't see that in a normal, stand, in a normal package, but it will allow us to blend up to 100% gas. And then we have a gas chromatograph back here at the right, the white box. That gas chromatograph is necessary both for the PD and for doing the gas analysis when we're mixing gases. So both come together. Um, to support us there. You know, the site air compressor is right behind you. Um, but it at this point, it pretty much looks like a power plant, because it is. It's exactly what it is. You can see some of the, uh, the hand-bent tubing in the instrument package back there. And, you know, it, to, me, to me, that hand-bent tubing, you can see it rack around. It's almost like artwork to me. And, and that, you know, it, it's all done by hand by skilled artisans that we've trained. And, and it's, it's a big... To me, it's another message about who we are. So there's our H-frame, right? So the H-frame's for the fast engine removal. Um, you can see the CO2. So another just small, you know, vertical integration. We do make our own CO2 racks. We don't make our own CO2 bottles, but we make our own racks with our own release systems. All of that's tested, run against our fire system electronics. Um, and then behind you over here to the back is our load bank. So. Turning 50 megawatts of power on and off in a grid in Sedalia would be disruptive, let's say. Um, and so we dissipate all of that megawatts into heat. So that's filled with stainless steel resistors and fans that blow air across the stainless steel. Uh, behind you is the, is the PDC. Um, and we won't bother with going in there. You've seen the inside of one already. Um, you can see how the cables all come in from the underside. We put our PDCs on pedestals. It helps us give us ground clearance, also water clearance for the PDC. The, the advantage of the load bank, not only does it dissipate the, the power and avoid problems with the grid, but it allows us to run the engine in any condition we want. So we can ramp up, down, we can do off frequency, we can, we're not bound by the connection to the grid. 
So we can, we can actually operate any frequency, speed, power output, anything we want. And from an engineering standpoint, when you're testing out, you know, a new blade that you designed or something, it gives you the flexibility to test it any way you want without being restricted by the grid.